What's up gamers, Dreamcast Guy here, and today, I hate to do it, but I absolutely need to rip into Chrono Trigger on Steam, because this has been out an entire month and we still don't have any giant updates. This game is a broken mess. It annoys me because this game is an absolute masterpiece. It's easily one of the greatest RPGs ever made. It has time travel, it has awesome characters, it's got multiple endings, all of this designed almost 20 years ago. So how did you make this game so flawed? If you haven't tried the Steam release, basically it's a cell phone game. No I'm not exaggerating, as you can see they even put giant touch controls on the screen that you have to click. This is the worst version of all of them, even worse than the freaking game that came out on the PlayStation with horrible load times. So I consider myself quite patient. I've been a fan of Square Enix for many many decades, so at this point I was kind of expecting something like this. A lot of times they'll come out with a game that has some issues and then they fix it later on. So I've been waiting. It's been an entire month and here we are, they've finally given us an actual update confirming that they are working on it. And what are they coming out with? Well, a big patch that's going to fix the graphics, but still not the actual interface. So as you can see by this gameplay, in its current style, it seems like they tried to smooth everything out and try and make it look more modern, but it completely backfired. It ends up making this look like a cheap freaking emulator instead of a brand new experience. It drives me nuts that they're just trying to do really weird stuff like this instead of just porting the original Super Nintendo game like we all wanted. Seriously, fans of this game, like myself, absolutely love of the original version. I spent years looking for it until I got it on Super Nintendo and even tracked down the original Super Nintendo strategy guide just to get the original version as pure as I can. While I do love the insanely cool cutscenes that were implemented in the PlayStation release and in the DS version, I didn't really care too much about that. I just wanted to get the original game as best I could. Something where I'm not going to have to deal with crazy loading screens or really clunky UI, and that is exactly what they gave us. It's so obvious that the team that was supposed to port this just went, grabbed the original code from cell phones, and dropped it onto Steam. No effort, no care, they knew that people would buy it. That's why they didn't even hype this up. There were no trailers or anything, they just announced it the day it came out. So, let me back up a tiny bit and say what is good about this. It's still Chrono Trigger. I still love the fact that it has such awesome combat and the fact that I can just make my characters do so many cool kinds of triple attacks. At its heart, this is still the amazing RPG we've known and loved for decades, but it's so frustrating that they didn't do anything else to it. The reason I'm making this video is because here we are, over a month after release, and they still haven't even fixed the fact that the text boxes are almost unreadable. Why do you make a white background for white text, and then don't outline it or even put shadows on it? Seriously, how the heck do you screw up something like that? When this was on a cell phone, I could actually affect the brightness a tiny bit and make it a little bit more readable. But here, when it's on my giant computer monitor, it looks really silly and messed up. Why is it when I'm playing through this with a controller, I'm still having to click the actual buttons? There needs to be some sort of functionality to disable this humongous menu button. It looks so ridiculous because you guys clearly don't care. Now, what really pushes me past my limit with this is the fact that they've done this multiple times now. I accidentally bought the Final Fantasy IX version they did on Steam as well, and this is just as bad. I cannot believe you're charging real money for these really crappy rushed ports. Fans like myself are here trying to support this great art, because these games are still some of the greatest RPGs ever, and you're not even going to actually give them the respect they deserve. Deserve. Now, over 30 days after release, the most you've announced is that you're going to be trying to fix the graphics in the next couple weeks. Now, 
Am I just supposed to expect that every 30 days or every few months you're going to patch one tiny part of this experience? I'm sort of just kind of losing hope in the fact that whatever the PC team is over at Square Enix, they don't really care about how these games look and play. They know that people like me are actually going to get suckered into buying it because we expect a certain level of quality. At this point, I'm really kind of just disappointed because I've seen so many bad games on this platform. Steam has kind of become known for just throwing out all sorts of bad shovelware, but when it comes to Square Enix, I expect a certain level of passion and dedication. I want these games to be preserved in a way. If I'm buying something that originally came out in such a perfect original form, why can't you at least closely mirror that format? I genuinely believe that they could have sold us a Super Nintendo emulator that even said the incorrect buttons on the screen and it would have been a better experience than this dumpster fire. As incredibly stupid as this is to say, I'm really starting to just hope that we actually get some hackers and modders to repair this broken mess. because. It's not like Square Enix is stepping up and doing their job. We bought this, and it's not really functioning at all. They delivered a promise, and the game has not followed through with it. Square Enix, I want to just send you an extra special message since I know you watch my videos. Fans like me, who have been playing these games in every different format, we just want to see them function as much as possible. I've bought Final Fantasy VII on PlayStation, I bought it digitally on my PlayStation Vita, and then I rebought it on PlayStation 4 when you did a re-release. Each one of those managed to really impress me because they did something small, whether it be a resolution update or the implementation of cheat codes in the PS4 release. That's it. That is the key to keeping fans like me impressed and invested. You did enough to make it seem like you actually gave a shit. Excuse my swearing there, but I'm just kind of annoyed the fact that this seems like such an easy project. How did you screw this up? I cannot believe that you are still just grabbing your overpriced cell phone games, dropping them on Steam, and expecting that people are going to swallow it and not give you any negative reviews. Well here I am, stepping up to the plate to say, hey, fix it, improve, or you're going to push away the people who love your stuff most. If I had to give this a score right now, as it currently stands, I would give it a 6.5 out of 10. It is so clunky and so intrusive of a port that it is disrespectful to those who have been sticking with this franchise. I've come to a point in my life where I clearly just can't trust Square Enix when it comes to anything on PC. I'm not really a PC gamer in general, but stuff like this kind of makes me realize that it seems like studios themselves aren't really PC gamers either. Well, this has been a random ranty review by Dreamcast Guy, and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. If you like this video, please press that thumbs up, share with your friends, and subscribe if you haven't already. But do me the biggest favor of all, and keep dreaming of Chrono Trigger not being a slaughtered, horrible mess. Because my god. Oh, hey. I was just playing a little bit of Grand Theft Auto on my Darth Vader PSP. Are you curious what I'm going to come out with next? Well, if you click this button, you'll be subscribed to be the first to know. Also, if you click over here and here, you can see my latest review and my latest top 10. I promise, it was super good. Or it was really bad, and I'm sure you can just make fun of me in the comments. Either way, it'll be a lot of fun. Thanks so much for watching.